Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Sorry I've been MIA lately. You know, real life and all. It's the holiday season. Things to decorate, things to buy, things to wrap, things to pack, things to ship. So, but today's my birthday. Um, and so I had took the day off from work because you should never ever work on your birthday. And I get to do my favorite thing for two or three hours, which is paint. So today would definitely be a twofer, uh, two videos. Um, I'm gonna be playing with new paints, yay! So before we get started, um, behind me on the wall today is an old painting, one of my first big ones. There's a horrible glare, isn't there? Hold on, uh, hold on a sec. Is that out? Oh, well now you can't see it. Sort of, kinda, what are you gonna do? That's one of my very first big pours. That's a 12 by 36. It was inspired by the cherry blossoms in DC on a really windy day. It's a total bust, came back and made that painting. I love it, love it, love it. It's one of my favorites. I put it up for sale every once in a while, then I'm always secretly happy when it doesn't sell, so. There's that guy, let me show you the results from the last video. Um, and somebody gave me a great Arizona name and now I can't remember it. Uh, whoever you are who commented with the great name, can you please tell me it again? Cause I can't remember. But it was this guy, it dried. This is the one where I doubled up the colors. It dried really great. I mean, not a crack, a ripple bumps, no craters, no nothing. So I was really happy about that. I left it alone under a tarp covered for about five days though. Like I didn't even peek. So um, this one has like some crazy, crazy cells too. Multiple colors, the multiple color background. Um, that one will be going on sale. I'll probably go to uh, varnish it next week and you'll see it on my Etsy shop. So there's that guy. And let me get down on the canvas. Today we're playing with some new paints. And because it is my birthday, I got a bunch of new paints. Yay! Which was really exciting. Um, one of you had recommended this German brand paint, these Lucas Crystal Liquid Paints. I'm giving them a shot. And then my husband, because he doesn't know what he's doing when it comes to buying paint uh, amounts, which worked out in my favor. Uh, I'm like, give me some Liquitex soft body. And I was expecting them those little tiny two ounce tubes. And look what I got. <laughs> this is 32 ounces of Liquitex soft body acrylic paints. And I got, he bought six of them. And he's like, paint is really, really expensive. I'm like, it can be. But then when I saw what came in the box, I was laughing because that's not what he was supposed to buy but they're great because you take off the little lid and it's just a giant squirt bottle. So I'm happy to try those out with the with the Lucas Crystal stuff. So we have soft body paints today. Um, and then I'm gonna do another video today and I've got out my little things and I'm gonna do an experiment with GAC 800 and my pouring medium mix, two separate little six by six canvases with some high flow fluid acrylics, the golden, like the good stuff. Um, and we're gonna see if there's a difference between the two. So that'll be next. But for this pour, let's get started. Um, my colors are, I have that Lucas Crystal. This is um, just a little bit of Payne's Gray. And I made way too much paint because I was just excited. I don't know what I was doing. Next up we have, let me put them up here. So there's the Payne's Gray. And then we have an Ultramarine Blue, which was the giant Liquitex soft body. We have the Lucas Crystal, what is this? Cobalt Turquoise in this cup. And then we have another Liquitex, and I couldn't figure out how to pop the lid off and I made a giant mess, so sorry for the look of the bottle. But this is the, uh, Philocyanian blue, the green shade. And that's this guy. And then I felt like I needed to have a contrasting color between all of these guys. 
um, and I didn't have anything soft body, but Windsor Noon Gallery is pretty darn creamy, so I'm using, I'm using Burnt Sienna. So that's the color palette for today. This, um, this color palette, and actually this painting, is a commission for a friend, so she won't be, you know, terribly picky, um, but she did pick out most of the colors except for the sienna, which I'm throwing in for good measure, so I hope she likes it. Uh, and then, as usual, a cup of tea white. My pouring medium mix, I'm, I'm trying to find that perfect balance of just using glue and water. But since my household doesn't like just glue and just and water with nothing else, today I did 12 ounces of Elmer's Glue Wall and then four ounces of, um, just four ounces of Floetrol and then another four ounces of water. So up to 20 ounces. So, and I have a whole bunch left that um, this will be a part of the uh, experiment for the next video, I'm saving that. Um, so that was the pouring medium recipe and I found with the soft body and this Lucas Crystal, you only need a little bit of pouring medium. That's why I have so much paint in the blues because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and it was way, way too runny and then I had to add paint. And I kind of wanted it a little on the thicker side today. So it takes a full second for that mound or that trace to disappear or dissipate into my cup. Um, the other thing I did different today because like I'm in experiment mode or play, I call, I'm calling this my play date, my play date. I took my silicone, silicone, excuse me, and I added um, a couple drops like the little guy only got one drop, but the big guy's got three, and this one got two. But I added it right after my pouring medium, and then even before, if I needed a dash of water, instead of putting this in last, it went in right after my pouring medium. So the silicone is really mixed in well um, in the paint. So I don't have to, I think I need to add it to, um, this one because I didn't put any in because I was going to use this to show you my uh, consistency. Um, so the rest of those though have it mixed in even before I added water and it was really interesting to watch the water, the paint, and the um, silicone interact with each other while you're stirring. And they're like, get away from me. No, you get away from me. Oh my God, I can't sit next to you. Mom, he's touching me. It was like, it was kind of like that. Um, while I was mixing it. So I'm giving this a good stir too. So we'll see what kind of cells I get, if any. If not, hopefully it's just a pretty painting. And three cups. I'm gonna use a lot of white today, I think. And uh, anything else I need to tell you? I think that's it. I feel like I'm, I'm supposed to be telling you all kinds of stuff over because I haven't painted in uh, like 10 days or something, but it'll come to me, I'm sure. I'm doing a little Christmas market on December 22nd. So uh, I think I have enough inventory and it's nice because this place has these little Christmas huts and they come with power. So I don't have to get out my, my tent or you know really set up, like it's all ready to go. You just kind of show up with your stuff and set up and sell. And it's like, it's also during, you know, gentlemen's hours. It's like 11 to five, so I don't have to get up at the crack of dawn. Let me order how I want these to go. Hmm. I want my dark blue first, because I know it's gonna make another shade. Let's see how this stuff layers too. Um, so that'll be fun. I'm going out to a fancy dinner tonight with my husband uh, for Indian food. Uh, it's actually not that fancy of a place, but the food's just phenomenal. So, and it's not very expensive, so score, but it uh, it's always packed because the food is so great that it takes three months to get a reservation, and he managed to get one. I guess because it's it's uh, a Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, so 
It wasn't that hard, I guess, a couple months in advance. So I'm trying not to eat. Alright, I just want a little bit of that. Let me go with this next. I, uh, thank you for all the lovely comments on the last video. And uh, I didn't mean to get totally personal with the story about my mom and, you know, my co-worker, Lynn. I just kind of, you know, that happens sometimes, I guess. Uh, just a, a fun little thing that if you think you're pretty articulate, I double dog dare you to try and say this word. Now, this word that I'm about to tell you is used, used by speech therapists for people who have suffered a stroke. Um, and along with trying to say, you know, tongue twisters, saying certain words five times fast um, was part of our routine that my mom and I would do. And neither of us could conquer this. Um, obviously, I was able to do it first, but it took her a long, long time. So... I double dog you, double dog dare you guys to try and say the word toy boat, T O Y B O A T, five times as fast as you can. Go ahead. I'll wait. I'm listening. I guarantee you, most of you are going to be saying two boy. And it's because of the, the oi and the o makes your mouth move in two different directions. When you try to do that fast, it's really hard. And my mom and I used to just giggle, giggle, giggle trying to say that word. I think I can still do it. Can I still do it? Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. That was pretty good. One of the weird things I can do. Yeah, I want way more weight. I wanted a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots and lots. Anyway, didn't mean to overshare. All right, wow, I did wipe out the white there. Uh huh. huh. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to this. Let's mix up the order. Boy, this is all so nice and creamy. Just love the way it's pouring out of the cup. So we've got our tree up. We always buy a real tree every year. Uh, and decorated, and we had a ton of casualties from the two moves. Um, which bummed me out because if things are going to be broken when you unpack them, it's never like, oh, it's the cheap blue ornaments that I got at Michael's, you know, or, you know, oh, that ornament that your Aunt Betty gave you that's, you know, hideously ugly. No, it's always guaranteed to be the good stuff. And I collect these. I um, used to live in Germany as well as Belgium. And... Um, in Germany, one of the popular things to buy at Christmas time, at least for Americans, were these uh, wooden smokers. And it's not like a cigarette smoker, like it's a wooden little figurine that um, you put incense in and light it, and then, then it looks like it's smoking a, um, a pipe. And those I collected, so I have like five or six of those. And the other thing I collected were these um, glass ornaments that have a hole in the back um, that's large enough for you to put a tea candle in and then it has a little hole so that when you light the candle and the whole thing glows the smoke can escape and I had um, six of those and four out of the six were broken and I was bummed I was bummed the other night they look like this Where, do I have one I don't have one handy um, and I have a girlfriend right now who, um, she's single, so she and her single friends always go somewhere in December to go to a Christmas market somewhere in the world. 
So she's in Vienna right now. I'm like, oh, you got to get me one of these. And she said she looked everywhere and couldn't find them in, in Vienna. And Austria is right next to Germany. You would think they would have them, but I guess it's just a, a Benelux thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, if anyone knows where I can get those stateside, I feel like I'm missing a blue. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm missing a dark blue. Because I wanted that with the black. So I'm toying with the idea in the new year is to only post a video a week. Um, mostly because I want to keep my inventory kind of low and not be so crazy. Like I would just really want to be, I want to up my game basically. And I don't want to just pour for pour sake or paint for painting sake. I want to have something really, really good and I'm going to be super picky. And if I don't like it, I have to be totally in love with it. Otherwise, I'm going to um, scrap it. So in order to do that, that means practice, uh, particularly if I'm not always going to be doing the uh, flip and drags. So I don't know. Um, it, it would give you guys like, hey, she's going to post a new video every Monday night. You can have something to look forward to. Uh, because right now I'm kind of haphazard, you know, it's either feast or famine. So, um, that's the tentative plan right now. We'll see if it pans out. All right, done, ready to go. Some gloves. This is a uh, 12 by 24 uh, gallery rack canvas. Too, but it's not a... Um, it's not the thick kind. It's only, uh, gosh, half an inch, maybe an inch deep. So. Hmm. Let's just start off with two. it over and let it run and then tilt tip it. I'll do that one there and one there for a second. And I'm just gonna tip those over. And then I might pour the other one. I don't know. I'm winging it. Do that one that way. Oh, don't go running off. Oh, no, I want you back. Come here. Get into the cup. Let's see what these two, these two do before I use a third. Kind of lost the. Uh, kind of lost my sienna there. That's sad. Oh, it's still selling up. Aha. Uh -huh. There's one way to get the sienna. Half pour, half dump. Just let that spread out a second.
saved a little bit of the paint in the pour. You see me kind of go high. Whoa. this. I don't think it'll do anything. Let's torch right in here. Right in there. We'll leave the rest of that background alone. And then maybe just a little bit right there. And that's it. I can't believe I used all that white. Now this is going to be a tilting, very interesting tilt, given where I have spots. Yeah, you two go meet up. That would make my life a little easier. Cheat a little. really like this so the easy thing to do would be go your way but let's go kind of my way kind of cat a corner actually very slowly today Those guys meet up, thank you. Taking my sweet time today, aren't I? Look at that. Make the fun last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. Just go on over this way a little bit. Go ahead. You guys are gonna think I'm nuts. My favorite thing right now is this. Like, I love that. Just like the blue with the white with the three cells. It's cool. I'm gonna lose some of this and I don't wanna. I hate that. Why do cells know to like form on the edge? Just to, just to bug you. Yeah, cause how else am I gonna get over there? Getting wonky. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, I saved some of them. All right, that was a good save before it all got crazy. All right, need to go your way. This little corner here. I forgot to go. I was so busy looking over here, I forgot this one. And I forgot once again. I don't know why I have a mental block. I always forgot, forget to add paint to my corners. Love that right there too. I hope I hope I don't lose that. That's cute. This is uh turning out pretty great. I gotta say. All right. This is my big gap. 
It was uh, Mr. Dusty's uh, birthday, my dog, my golden. He turned 10 the day before yesterday. He's officially an old man. He got an extra bone. He's at the door simultaneously growling and wagging his tail at the, at the uh, mailman. I love you. I really want you to pet me, but but I, I gotta protect the house too, so I'm gonna growl. All right, see if that helps a little. Might as well go all the way with that. Goodbye, some of you, uh, Sienna, Color. See if we can get it to roll off kind of evenly. I'm just going to go for it. See, I got impatient there at the end. Wow, we made some big cells, though. Right smack in the middle. See if I can fix the shape of them so they're not so elongated. Might not be able to though. Got to keep this up here though. That's great. Let me stare. Wow, I don't know if it's the paint, the pouring medium, the layering, what, but um, really super happy with the cells in this guy. And I, I do like that whole thing of like flipping two cups and then pouring around it because I love like the drama effects it made. Like I like this here a lot and I like that end a lot. And then it just looks, you know, it has its more traditional spots. I'm going to tilt a little to that corner and then a little to this corner and then uh, take another look. I might not actually. No, I'm going to leave that corner alone. I kind of like that, but let me go try a little bit toward this corner if I can. If not, no, no biggie. It's a little better. And how's my composition? Actually, that kind of helped my composition a little bit too. Oh gosh, oh my, I'm pr pretty happy, I think. Um, anywhere I want to torch? I don't think so, right? Like, would you torch? Cause there's there's not that much of a blank spot other than this which I kind of like I don't know I'm loving this corner this looks amazing that corner is amazing those are great this has like this cool little pull ripple thing going on I don't know. Let me just torch like right there, not in the middle. Just like maybe add something on the edge. Because you know, I'm chicken. So I'm actually going to come around and torch away from me instead of add it. I'm going to go this way. Oh, see? I went in the middle anyway. Damn it. Damn it. Hopefully, hopefully they turn into nice cells. Jim. I'm just going to scoop up. How long is this video? Have I been rambling on some more? I don't even know. I need like some of that burnt sienna. Okay. 
not going to get any, but don't have any silk of blue. Ta-da! This is... Ta-da! What do you guys think? I think it's a pretty good one. Right? Uh, where are you guys? Or let me come down, get you close. I'll go around and uh, touch up any, um, I got a couple little bare spots over here. But otherwise, yeah, I'm not torching. Those are okay-ish, so definitely, I'm bummed that I did that, that was stupid. Um, let me get you closer, and then come down. Whoops. <laughs> Like that, so that's what she looks like. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Um, let me pop this off for some close-ups. Let me see. So, here's this one end. Aren't those cells great right there, like the green guys? And then that, like that blue and white thing, I love that. And these cells right here, they're kind of amazing. Really pretty. And then up here in the middle where it's all like kind of swirly. I like that a lot too. And these guys here. <sighs> love. And then this corner. Check out the corner too. I really like that corner. And over here where I torched too much. That's okay. They're cute and little. They're fine. And then they'll come up high. Yay. That's a keeper. I should go this way. Am I upside down? Probably. Um, I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to do another video and we'll play with uh, some high flow fluid acrylics. See you guys soon. Bye.